Hello, welcome to the Thursday, November 4th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. If you're using GitLab, then please be aware that you should patch GitLab occasionally. Rapid7 took a look at a critical vulnerability in GitLab that was made public back in April. This was a remote code execution vulnerability, and apparently it is actively being exploited. Rapid7 during its scanning found that there are apparently tens of thousands of unpatched GitLab installations still out there that have not been updated and are open to attack. Now, if you're using GitLab, GitLab is publishing security updates at the end of each month. The last one was published uh, last week, October 28th. So that's when you should take a look and probably update your install. And according to Rapid7's scans, 21% of GitLab installs are fully patched for the issue that was released back in April. And 50% of installs are not patched. Now there's another 30% where they weren't really sure if it was vulnerable or not. But with 50% uh, being definitely not patched. Uh, this is more than we typically see for vulnerabilities that old and maybe related with GitLab, not necessarily sort of being the software that makes the news a lot. So that's why I really want to emphasize uh, to patch it, double check that you're running it. Uh, maybe you're not even aware that some developers or so set it up in your environment. And if you need a little bit extra motivation to patch GitLab, the patch released last week uh, does also address the Unicode issue that made the news big time. So maybe that issue about the bidirectional uh, characters uh, making the news may give you a little bit resource and such to actually push out a patch. And apparently there is still a sufficient number of exchange servers out there that are vulnerable to either proxy shell or a petty bottom vulnerabilities. And the latest attack uh, trying to find some of uh, these servers is installing the Babook ransomware. The Babook ransomware is not necessarily terribly sophisticated. Uh, it actually, its source code has been leaked in the past. A decryptor is available, but uh, only uh, for a number of leaked keys. So chances are that these keys are not currently in use and uh, you can't use one of the free decryption tools if you are infected with this ransomware. The infection in this case, as uh, pointed out uh, by uh, Cisco, does start out with PowerShell, then uses good old cert util in order to download additional malware, which then in the end leads uh, to the encryption of the affected system. So to me, this really more looks like uh, this particular group is sort of mopping up uh, systems that have not yet been completely compromised by others, uh, but nothing sort of really fundamentally new and different here. And talking about ransomware, it looks like Black Matter is shutting down yet again. Remember, they have done that uh, before after the Colonial Pipeline incident, but then came back. And when you're talking about these ransomware groups, uh, there are usually a number of affiliates involved that are actually conducting uh, the infections and uh, deploying the malware. And they're really just using sort of the infrastructure to collect payments. Turns out that uh, these affiliates are now moving victims to the LockBit infrastructure. So if you are a victim of Black Matter, you're probably out of luck and you may still have to pay if you want your data back. At least at this point, there is no sign of any keys being released or anything that would help victims. And Google published its monthly update for Android today. And as usual, we have another already exploited vulnerability being addressed with this update. So as soon as the update becomes available for your particular phone, please update. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening. And if you like this podcast, please 
tell your friends about it, uh, post on social media, or if you don't like it, then please tell your enemies. That's it, and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.